Hello, everybody. I'm Kevin Pereira, and this is Let's Ask America, the show where you can sit in your underpants and still win $50,000. People from all across America, they're on their webcams, and they're hoping to play. So let us see who we've got today. First up, she's from Dana Point, California. It's Christine. He's from Cleveland, Ohio. It's Keith. He's from Detroit, Michigan. It's Deshaun. And she's from Scottsdale, Arizona. It's Heather. Welcome, everybody. You guys know how this works. All you have to do is figure out America's opinions on all kinds of topics, and then you win buckets of cash. You guys ready to play? Let's get it. We ready, baby. We ready. Let's go. All right, then let's do it. This first question is worth $100. Here are the two possible answers. We've got... Anthony Weiner or Charlie Sheen? The question is, who did fathers say they would trust the least with their daughters? Anthony Weiner or Charlie Sheen? Everybody's got their answers down. Contestants, flip those cards. Let's see it. Is it Anthony Weiner or Charlie Sheen? I see three for Sheen. Heather says, it's Anthony Weiner. The correct answer for $100, it's Charlie Sheen. Very, very close. But Sheen got it with 52%. We move on. Our next question is worth $200. Two possible answers here are bed or breakfast. The question is, which did college kids say they skipped more often during spring break? Is it bed or breakfast? Christine, is it always Christmas with you? I imagine it is. You've got the Santa hat on and the snowmen ready to go. <laughs> I do. I do. They're my friends and family. They keep me company, and I love the lighting, and I just love it. It just makes me happy, brings me joy, and I say, what the hell? I'm 55. I'm allowed to have some fun. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Christine. Let's see. Contestants, go ahead and flip your cards. Is it bed or breakfast? Let's see some bed. Another bed. Oh, it looks like a breakfast for Keith. <laughs> Got to have that breakfast. With my breakfast buffet. For two hundred dollars, the correct answer with sixty-four percent of the vote by any other name. It's the breakfast. You got it, Keith and Heather. <laughs> Keith in first place with three hundred. Heather in second place with two hundred. Christine and Deshaun tied at one hundred apiece. Our next question is worth three hundred dollars. Here are the two possible answers. We've got she was crazy, or he's a jerk. <laughs> the question is, we ask single women. If a guy describes his ex-girlfriend as crazy, what's more likely to be true? She was crazy or he's a jerk? <laughs> Keith, I have to go to you because I can barely hear myself think over the sounds of the women in the audience going crazy for you and your quartet. What is going on, Keith? We are in a barbershop quartet called Lake Effect. These are my boys. They support me in everything I do. They're going to support me today in winning $50,000. Oh, I love it. And let's look at the song. Let's ask America. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. Woo. I'm getting the vapors, Keith. Well played. You guys sound fantastic. Let's get you that 50 grand so you can share it with your boys here. Everybody flip your cards. Let's see what we got. She was crazy or he's a jerk. There's a couple jerks there, but Keith said she cray. For $300, the correct answer with 63% of the vote. Keith, you got it. She's crazy. Keith is in first place with $600. Heather in second with $200. Deshaun and Christine, they are tied with $100 apiece. And now it is time for the final question of this round. It is worth $400. More importantly, this will decide who stays in place and who gets eliminated. So good luck. Two possible answers here are cold hands or cold instruments. The question is, which of these did people say they find most unsettling at the doctor's office? Miss Heather from the home gym. Tell me about yourself, Heather. So in my spare time, I do, oh, I don't know, uh, Grand Canyon, the half marathon. Did I mention I have two little ones at home? Two. No. Two. That is incredibly impressive. Let's get that money. Is it cold hands or cold instruments? Everybody flip your cards. Let's see what you picked. Deshaun says the instruments. 
as does Heather and Christine. Keith said the cold, cold hands. For $400, the correct answer with 70% of the vote. They said cold instruments. Yes! Heather, Deshaun, and Christine get the money. Keith and Heather are tied 600 apiece. Christine and Deshaun, you are tied with 500. And we have got to break that tie, everybody. And the only way we do it here on Let's Ask America is with a physical challenge we like to call the Dash for Cash. Here's how this works, everyone. I'm going to read a polling question. And the answers are objects that you can find in your home. Now, when I say go, Christine and Deshaun, you tear apart your homes, ransack your house, look for the object that's the correct answer. Now, the first one back with the correct item will stick around. The contestant who finishes last, he'll be eliminated. Now, remember, Deshaun, Christine, do not start until I say go, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. <laughs> Get it, let's go, let's go. We got it, baby, we got it. Deshaun and Christine, the I'm two ready, possible answers are nine volt or double A. The question is, what did people say was the most common battery size that they used around the house? Ready, set, go! Oh wait, Christine is back right away with some double-A batteries. She didn't even have to get up. Deshaun is back with a double-A in his hand, but Deshaun, you missed it. Christine had to pivot to have her answer down, and the correct answer with 96% of the vote is double-A battery. So congrats to Christine. You are moving on. Deshaun, you have been eliminated. Uh, breaks my heart. I love Detroit. The town. Congrats to Christine, Keith, and Heather. They are moving on. These three are going to battle it out for big money when we come back to Let's Ask America. Welcome back to Let's Ask America. Right now, we are down to three contestants on webcam. They're all playing from home, and they're all trying to win big money by predicting what America is thinking. But now, it's about to get even harder because these next questions have three possible answers. This one is worth $500. Three possible answers are go to the bathroom, take a shower, or have sex. The question is, what did pet owners say their pet has seen them do more often? <laughs> is it go to the bathroom, take a shower, or have sex? All right, Keith and the Keithettes, we'll start with you with $600. What do you think, go to the bathroom, take a shower, or have sex? I'm going to have to go with bathroom. I love a four-part harmony for bathroom. There's nothing better. Heather, your thoughts? Your little pet wants to be everywhere you want to be, including everywhere. Have sex. Oh, all right, Heather says, having sex. Miss Christine. I haven't had a pet in a long time. In the old days, it would have been definitely having sex. These days, it would be go to the bathroom. <laughs> bathroom. Christine, the vocal solo, says bathroom oh, with 77% of the vote. Correct answer is the bathroom. Oh, you guys got it. Keith in first place with $1,100. Christine just behind with 1000 Heather, you still have a shot here. We're going to raise the stakes. Yet again, our next question is worth $1,000. Three possible answers here are the DJ, the florist, or the bartender. The question is, who did engaged women say would upset them the most if they were a no-show at their wedding? Is it the DJ, the florist, or the bartender? Miss Christine, we will start with you this time. I'm going to say the bartender, anybody can serve drinks. The DJ, you can find a replacement, but the florist, it's important. I've been married three times. The flowers are significant. Got to have those flowers. Yeah. Heather? Um, I think at a wedding, I go there mostly to have a ball. And I'd be super upset if the bartender was not there. Hello, bartender. <laughs> you can drink enough to forget that the flowers were supposed to be there. Keith, you have the final say. Me and my quartet are going to say, DJ. The DJ. So classy. The correct answer with 60% of the vote for $1,000. 
It's the DJ, Keith, you got it. Congratulations, Keith extends his lead. He's got 2,100 bucks. Christine, still sitting pretty with 1,000. And Miss Heather, it all comes down to this for you for $1,500, but more importantly, for a shot to stay in the game. It's time for the final question of this round. Here we go. Three possible answers are, everyone's a Sox fan, everybody is Irish, or no one can say the letter R. The question is, which of these stereotypes about Boston did Bostonians say is closest to the truth? <laughs> Christine, we'll start with you again. What do you think? I'm from the East Coast. I've spent time in Boston. Everybody's a Sox fan. Well, a lot of people are Irish, but nobody can say the letter R up there. <laughs> nobody. I'm telling you. Christine says no one can say the letter R. Keith? Well, I'm going to have to say that Sox fan. Everyone's a Sox fan. <laughs> right, so Keith disagrees. Very melodic disagreement. Heather, you have the final say. $1,500, and I'm going to say the same thing. The Bostonians don't know they're not saying the R correctly. They're all Sox fans. Yeah. Yeah. That's two for Sox fans. Miss Christine says no one can say the letter R for $1,500 with 49% of the vote. The correct answer, everyone's a Sox fan. Yeah! Keith and Heather, you get the $1,500. And that means, Christine, you played a great game, but unfortunately, that question was the deal breaker. Happy holidays to you, Christine. Wish you the best. Unfortunately, you have been eliminated. Keith and Heather are moving on. Only two remain. Find out which one will go on to play for big bucks when we return. But let's ask America. Welcome back to Let's Ask America. Right now, Keith and Heather are both looking to take home big, big money. It's Ohio v. Arizona. We are two questions away from finding out who will play in the final round, but things are about to get tougher because now our contestants will have four possible answers to choose from. This first question is worth a whopping $2,000. And the four possible answers are the free samples, the dollar hot dogs, the giant jugs of alcohol, or watching sports on giant TVs. The question is, what did men say they like best about Costco? <laughs> America. <laughs> is it the free samples, the dollar hot dogs, the giant jugs of alcohol, or the watching sports on giant TVs? Heather, we'll start with you. You're in second place with $2,100. This will get you an extra two Gs. What are you thinking? I'm thinking my family, my husband included, would be one of the men. And uh, Sunday afternoons, we go to Costco for free samples, baby. That's it. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's all there. Yep. Cool Keith. I'm going to have to say samples. That's two for the samples with 55% of the vote for $2,000. Audience, you think they got it? Yeah. You do? Kielbasa dog is also a dollar, and it's also damn delicious if you haven't had it. Nope, you got it. It's free samples. $2,000 for each of you. Keith still in first place with $5,600. Heather holding strong with $4,100, and now it all comes down to this. The final question of this round is worth $4,000. This is also the question that will decide who gets eliminated and who goes on to play for big money, so good luck. Four possible answers are filing their nails, putting on makeup at their desk, showing cleavage, or dating a coworker. The question is, what did working women say they most hate seeing other women do at the office? <laughs> filing their nails, putting on the makeup at the desk, showing some cleave, or dating a coworker. All right, Keith, what do you think those working women had to say about other women at the office? Uh, women on women. Hmm, let me think. Um, I would say that as disgusting as it is, it's probably not filing your nails. A lot of women do that. 
Uh, I think that women are probably more than anything jealous of other women. So I'm going to go with Cleveland. And I now have a new text message alert. Thank you, gentlemen, for that. Fine rendition of the cleavage. Heather, what say you? I say filing their nails, eh, not a big deal. Dating a coworker, come on, that's where you meet your husband, right? So I think other women kind of sort of get jealous of showing cleavage. Keep it classy, San Diego. <laughs> so Heather agrees for four thousand dollars and a trip to the final round the correct answer with 47 percent of the vote is cleavage you guys got it congratulations to both of you but heather i'm so sorry that was the last question of this round and 8100 is just not enough that means we must say goodbye to you heather you have been eliminated and congrats to keith keith you and the boys are moving on to the final round you've got nine thousand six hundred dollars and in a moment, you'll have a chance to risk some or all of your winnings on one final question for a gorgeous shot at up to $48,000. See if Keith goes all in when we come back. Let's Ask America. Welcome back to Let's Ask America. Right now, Keith from Cleveland, Ohio, has done an amazing job he is on fire. He's banked $9,600. And now, Keith, my good friend, it is decision time. You can risk any portion of your 9600 on this final question. But, Keith, if you put it all on the line and go all in and you're correct, I will give you five times that amount for $48,000. However, Keith, you go all in and you get it wrong, you walk away with nothing. Obviously, it's a huge risk. It's up to you, Keith. You can wager any amount that you'd like. What are you thinking? Um, I'm going to bet... 4,600! That is a sizable risk! Nice job, Keith! And the boys are putting 4,600 at risk. That means if they get this question correct, they're leaving here with $14,200. Keith, good luck to you and to everybody there for $14,200. It all comes down to this. The four possible answers are GameStop, Six Flags, Hershey's Chocolate Factory, or Apple Store. The question is, where did teenagers say would be the most fun place to work? A GameStop, Six Flags, Hershey's Chocolate Factory, or an Apple store. The answer is in for a shot at $14,200. Well, walk me through it. Okay. Um, well, I think that as soon as I heard Apple store, I think that sounds pretty cool, but that still works. So you get to play with, you know, Apple products, but I don't think you get to use them very much. Or, you know what I mean? Um, I think that that a Hershey's Chocolate Factory would be tons of fun. I think you'd get sick of chocolate really, really quick. GameStop would be awesome, and so would Six Flags. Both of them are almost equally awesome, but I'm gonna have to say... Six Flags! All right, here we go, let's walk through it. He said it couldn't be the Apple Store. So look, but don't touch. That's no fun. 17% of the vote, that's not it. You were kind of unsure about the GameStop Six Flag thing. GameStop had 18% of the vote. That's not it. Keith, the top two answers were Hershey's Chocolate Factory and Six Flags. Those answers, by the way, were separated by 1% of the vote. I just wish you would have gone all in so you had room for more. You got it. It's Six Flags. Keith, you just won $14,200 playing a game from your house. It's that easy. Congrats to Keith and the quartet. You guys played an awesome game. $14,200.
And hey, you guys join us next time on The Only Show where you can win 50 grand with nothing more than a webcam and a giant marker. It's Let's Ask America! Catch it! Catch it! Catch it. Congratulations.